Hi guys, welcome back. Today, me and Pete from Petro Tours have got a Morgan Plus 6 press car and we've come up to Caffeine and Machine for breakfast because that's where the internet says you've got to come and take some cool car pictures. So we've come up here for breakfast. We had a bit of an early morning dawn raid uh, with some other guys from Petro Tours. We met up and had a little bit of a blast on the way up here. Pete's definitely not picking pheasant feathers out the front of the Morgan. I can hear you. <laughs> 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 then we've come up here for breakfast, gonna have a little wander around, have a look at the cars, and uh, have a little drive and chat about the car on the way back. Right, yeah. caffeine and machine completed, mate. Indeed. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? Never been before, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's a cool little place. Yeah, pretty funky. Like a mega mix of stuff. Yeah. I got the kiddies are all turning up now. It's just where all the old boys are going then. Hooray! <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Yeah, go on, you can clear my way. Steady, steady, and go. with the paddles than it is just in left in drive. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, as we'll discuss later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an open diff, sadly, mm. but that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> um, and as we discovered earlier, it struggles to put the power down in third and fourth at national speed limit speeds. Well, yeah, because it's got a lot of power and it weighs just over a ton. Yeah, 1,075 kilos. And we are sat, what, on the back a, axle? A foot short of the back axle. Yeah. So you would th you'd think with our weight in it, you'd get a bit more traction. <laughs> well, I didn't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
this has a lot of power. Yep. And it's a bit lively. And no, no toys, no drive rates. No drive, correct. No traction. It's got ABS apparently. Okay. Yeah. But that's not where it, it doesn't struggle to slow down. It struggles to get, get going. But there's a little bit of a dead pedal. Okay. You need to push fairly firmly before it starts to brake. Okay. But if you push, you know, if you put some effort into it, yeah. the brakes are very good. They're just not massively okay. over-assisted like so many modern cars. You know, you get a brand new Golf or something, you like rest your big toe on the brake pedal, yeah. and, it, and, it, and it does yeah, yeah, yeah. that. So it's not like that, Okay. which I think is good. Yeah. So, like a K room, you've got a bit, you've got to lean on it. Yeah, you've, you've actually got to, you, you feel like you put some effort in, you get some braking. You put lots of effort in, you get lots of braking. Yeah. Take exhaust or something? Uh, no, it's, it's got a Morgan exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's more surprising because it still looks like the old-fashioned 1930s Morgan yes. shape from the outside. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really old, but it's, it's brand new. It's, it, it, it's, it's less, you know, you see a Porsche and, and it's quick. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, it's a Porsche. Yeah, it's quick because it's a Porsche. Th this, as we were saying, I mean, Tom was down in his uh, Boxer Spider, brand new Boxer Spider, 7 Boxer Spider. Yeah. Four litre, basically the 991 GT3 yeah, yeah, engine, yeah. you know. And um, this, this, this is quicker than that, straight line. It's mad, isn't it? It's, it's ridiculous. Mad. Right, so let's, so 30 miles an hour, yeah. third gear, yeah. national speed limit, nothing in front of us, all behind us, ready, steady, go. So, you, you know, so that's drive, yep. and then if you just knock the stick over to the left, that's sport. That's sport. So it's still and an that, auto. That wakes it up. But it's doing a bit more with the throttle and holding onto gears Does longer. Does do something with the exhaust when you put it in sport yeah, as well? Yeah, opens the valve and the exhaust uh, to make it a bit louder and gives you the pops and crackles. Super, Gav, that's the mode for you. Yeah. I mean, it's still probably not loud uh, enough. You'll probably take the exhaust <laughs> out or something. Exactly. What, what exhaust? <laughs> Straight pipes. Yeah. <laughs> or ears aren't bleeding or anything. <laughs> Yeah. 
But uh, if you just leave it in drive and pop it around, it, it's remarkably civilized. Okay. Like, like a bit too civilized for me. I, I, you know, it doesn't it doesn't feel all that special. I think it'd be better with the roof down and you know, a nice warm sunny day, yeah. etc. Yeah. Um, but I guess ultimately, you want to be able to use the car regularly yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and it, it to be easy to drive. And it is. It's very easy to drive. You know, even, as, nice even in light, sport. Yeah, nice light power steering. Yeah, yeah. Um, as I said, good brakes. Um, this engine and gearbox, it, it's lovely to spot around it. But when you get to an A road or a B road and you start using the paddles and start yeah. pushing on a bit, it's a hot rod. Yeah. Is it power windows? Power, literally windows. Yeah, yeah power windows. Power windows. Yeah. Well then. So you can't have this in a manual. No, this only comes with the HPZF auto. But you can. But, but the plus four with the yes. four-cylinder. Correct. You can get in a manual and a flappy paddle. Yeah, you can get that as a manual or an auto. Okay. And and, and the, the the B58 engine is effectively this is a six-cylinder. Yeah. Um, the four-cylinder version is effectively this engine with two cylinders knocked off. Okay. So it's B. Yeah, which yeah. is the two litre turbo out two of the litre turbo. new M135. Yeah, so pretty pokey. The, the spec that they run in the plus four is apparently 255 horsepower. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which I guess is adequate. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be plenty enough, I reckon. That's 85 horsepower less than this. Yes! Does this feel like it could lose 85 horsepower and not worry? Yeah. Quite easily. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think 255 horsepower yeah. with a manual box in this, for, for, I, probably for a larger audience, would be more acceptable. Yeah. So that's second. Yeah. 10 miles an hour. Yeah, go on. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. Also, with a nice high roof, it does. And this, the car is slightly higher than, yep. for example, a Caterham. I can't get in and out of a Caterham graciously with the roof on. This yeah. easy. Yeah. Put your indicator on again. It's like a grandfather clock. <laughs> That's amazing. It's a two tone. It doesn't make the same noise. It goes tick tock, tick tock. That's awesome. <laughs> So we thought we'd have a little park up, 
sun shining, although now we've got out, it's really, really cold. We're gonna have a little walk around and do a little kind of pros and cons. Let's have a go. So Peter, yeah. what are we thinking? I really like it. I really like it's it. It's awesome, it's a hot rod. It's, it's a weapon, it is an absolute weapon. It's not an old fashioned wooden steel ladder frame chassis Morgan. No, no, no. It, it's a modern, high tech piece of kit. Yeah. Modern riveted aluminium chassis, modern suspension, decent brakes, um, massive wheels, 19 inch wheels, on a car that's less than four metres long. I mean, it's a tiny car, 19 inch wheels. <laughs> nice smooth ride. I can't believe how good Really comfy, is. really, really well it's damped. Clearly softly sprung. Yep. It's it floats down the road, beautiful. Yeah. I really love the shape. Yep. I love the fact that it drives in such a modern way, but it still looks like that. Yeah, yeah. What I find with, as I start getting used to it, yeah. I go and like look at like walking around caffeine machine, I looked at some other cars, and then I, every now and again I'd catch this out of the corner of my eye and go, wow, that looks mega. Yeah. It does look really smart. It's certainly got loads of attention at caffeine and machine, didn't it? 100%. Yeah. 100%. Let's have a quick look inside. Oh, hello. Sadly, <laughs> you don't have smell vision on YouTube. It smells amazing. Because, oh my God. Oh, oh it's really nice soft leather as well. Yeah, any vegans look away now. Really nice bit of padding. <laughs> It is really like the fit and finish of everything. Lever on the dash. It's beautiful together. Really like nice. a digital clock, but still old school clocks as well. And yeah. it, and it all, it all, that all seems to work. Well, so that, that bit in the middle with the Morgan logo, that shows you things like outside temperature and um, oil level, that kind of stuff. So it's, it, it, you know, it's, it's pretty high tech. Yeah, you, you, you press the button on the end of the stalk and it cycles through everything. Yeah, yeah. Fuel consumption, so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you've still got traditional analog. Um, speedo and uh, rev counter, and in fact, yeah. you, can, you can get a digital speedo in that little screen in front, which is what I've been using in all honesty. I haven't really looked at this speedo, I've just been looking at the digital speedo in front of me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and then the gauge on the right of the speedo is the um, coolant temperature. Yeah. And the gauge on the left is the fuel level. I quite like the simplicity of the stereo. <laughs> so basically, there is a knob under the under the uh, dashboard, which gives you volume control, which is right here. <laughs> There's a couple of USB ports. Yeah. And so all you do is you connect to your phone with your Bluetooth. Oh, that's your heater switch as well. You connect to the, your, your, the Bluetooth with your phone. Yeah. And stream Spotify or, you know, one of, like BBC radio app or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just adjust the volume with that knob, that's it. Wait. Very simple, very effective. Yeah, yeah, it works. Um, luggage space is minimal. But you're not massive. <laughs> So there's nothing. You can't, there's nothing in the bit, back. You can't get to the bit, bit in no, the back. It's that bit behind the seats. Okay. Basically. So you can um, stuff a few coats and stuff in there, but that's pretty we, much we it. Talked about the seats yet? Cool. They're super comfy, without masses of adjustment and stuff. Super comfy. Yeah. Really, really pleasant. I, I could see spending hours in those seats. And oh yeah, hundred percent. Like nice bit of lumbar support as well for yeah. us, for us older gentlemen. <laughs> oh no, you're younger than me. <laughs> yeah, only a bit, enough. So now on to some cons, and we were literally just trying to think of some, and we realised that actually there's no cons from of the outside. The, 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 just everything about, just the look of it, and fit and finish of everything, the way it looks, just looks mega. So there's, yeah. a, there's a couple of cons on the inside. Yeah. Let's go on the inside. So what are we saying? Actually, that is technically a lie, because the mirrors are on the outside. So the mirrors is a bit of a yeah, con. Yeah, I suppose that's true. So, when you, you adjust the mirrors... Well, so first of all, once you're sat in the driver's seat, you have to slide this window and then reach out and adjust the mirror. Now, obviously, in the summer, the side screen would not be fitted. Yeah. And the door's quite low, so you could just reach out and adjust the mirror and it would yeah, be even yeah, yeah. easier than doing this. But every time you close the door, the it mirror moves. moves. <laughs> okay. And, of course, you need a passenger to help you adjust the, passenger side. the other mirror. And every time they get out and then get back in again and close the door, it moves. And to be fair also, I found that my mirror sinks down just as you're driving, driving along. down the road. So they just need tightening up Having a bit. Having said that, even with the relatively restricted visibility of the hardtop, yeah, at really. no point did I feel like I had any blind spots. Because from the driver's seat, you can look out the back window, or that side window, or this side window. Okay. Even without external mirrors. Yeah, because you don't need them. I can see very easily just by glancing over my shoulder. My only other minor criticism is that the heating system relies on these two vents. And I do think 
if there were four vents, if there was another one, let's say, here, yeah, and another one here, then you could have each, you know, drive around passenger could have two vents pointing at them from opposite sides. Yeah, yeah. Because we're, cause we're a bit confused because we press this button, which does the um, allegedly feet. goes to your feet, and there is actually like a little vent down here but there didn't seem to be anything coming out of it. Yeah. No, so we tend to both have like a really hot inside arm, Yeah. and then the rest of us was a bit cold. I, I think it's made worse by the fact that it's been very chilly the last couple of days. It is January, and maybe people you know, aren't a, driving a, these a, around a in general. Coming through from the side screens and stuff, which obviously wouldn't be a problem in the summer. No, because they'd be off. But I, I think that draft would be negated if I had a nice warm air vent yeah. on the outside. Yeah. Not really a lot of criticism, is it? You know, the mirrors. It's, it's a, I, used, I, I love it. I think it's a mega big kit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, we'll take one. You know, when you when you think about everything else that's gone into this thing, it, yeah. it's, it's a wake. Right, that's enough of that. Let's go and uh, hit the open roads again. Go and grab a coffee. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, nice. So there you go, back at Pete's house. Little Civic, letting the driveway down. Lovely 340 for Pete. <laughs> Brown 340. With brown wheels. <laughs> the Morgan's actually held up remarkably well. Yeah, a silver. You've got to get silver, see? What? Hides the dirt really well. So there we go, we're going to go and grab a coffee. Uh, I'm going to jump back in a little Civic, go and get a Sunday roast, hopefully. Thank you so much to Mr. Pete for uh, inviting me to the caffeine machine, come and do a bit of filming in the Morgan, and the uh, let me stay at his house last night. He didn't come and tuck me in though. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> he did wake me up with a cup of tea though, good lads. And um, big shout out to Morgan as well. Mega car, absolutely mega weapon. Um, we're saying, can I have the four cylinder to have a little drive and Pete wants the V8. Maybe that'd be- V8 with the manual please. V8 with the manual, yeah. Four cylinder with the manual, V8 with the manual. Maybe that'd be another video. Do a little road trip out. Yeah, Ooh, oh, if any, hair, back, if, back, if back anyone from, back comparison. Yes, if anyone from Morgan is watching, hit us up. <laughs> As always guys, please like, subscribe. Any comments or questions about anything we've been doing. A thousand uh, subscribers. A thousand subscribers. <laughs> and uh, I thought I was gonna say. Oh. I've got it. See you on the next one. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, where are we going? You're going that way. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, because otherwise, otherwise we'd be in the hedge like 50 yards out of the road. <laughs> <laughs>